Hello, my name is Piarmo. Today I will be presenting my research um, sponsored by Magnia Program and partnership with RIT University. So let me share my screen. So this research topic is investigating streptococcus pyogeny disease associations through rep PCR and melted curve analysis. So what is streptococcus pyogeny? So streptococcus pyogeny is also known as group A streptococcus or colleague gas in short acronym. It is a gram positive bacteria that grow in chains. So this is a 3D model how it look like. Um, and this is a picture under microscope. And um, to continue, um, Streptococcus pyogeny is the most common pathogenic bacteria in human that cause various infection. They are such as parajitis, parajitis, tonsitis, myositis, scarlet fever, cellulitis, erysipelas, and many more. So those are a picture of um, the infection that has been occurring in human. So how does streptococcus affect the body? So we know that streptococcus affect the body by um, had ability, they have ability to um, strike the uh, immune system by deactivating immune system molecule that regulate white blood cells in the body. So they do that by preventing them from having the ability to fight against the bacteria. So it is so much prevalent at all age. However, disease occurs most commonly in a children and a men. So we know we see that it developed without pre-existing illness and unknown portal entry. So how is spread or transmitted? So we see that it's spread from person to person by direct, directly by contact, or indirectly by touching any object that is contaminated with streptococcus pyogeny. So under mysterious circumstances, some individuals still display no sign of symptom. So some, some does not have a symptom, even they have the infections, um, and it's called asymptomatic. And it is often goes unnoted in many areas of the country, but more burden in developed country with low technology and low health resources. So what are some complications? So the complication is that there's no immediate diagnosis or a therapeutic consequence to subtyping of group A streptococcal strain in most clinical cases of acute infection. So um, the streptococcus pyogenic strain that causes parajitis and those that causes the impiago are widely separate in both time and space. That means that there are some differences in uh, specialization that exists among the strain. So it is so important that we make early detection of the organism to prevent any potential for more serious disease or future outbreak. What are we doing in this study? 
So in this research study, we're using real-time PCR assay to identify and classify and typing of streptococcus pyogeny based upon amplifications of an M protein gene and further suggestion to high resolution melter curve analysis. So we are going to use three different type of red PCR primer to evaluate for their utility as to which primer set is best to discriminate strains of streptococcus pyogeny that are likely to cause the specific diseases. So what is our purpose? So our purpose is to use isolate um, genomic DNA from diverse collections of streptococcus pyogeny, isolate original from various condition, and rep PCR to identify and establish a correlations between certain strains of streptococcus pyogeny and a particular condition. And we're using pre-existent or developed M protein specific PCR primer to amplify and perform cyber green based high resolution melter curve analysis using BioRep CFX 96 real time PCR machine. So methods. So what are our steps to the experiments? So our step to the experiments is first to um, acquire isolate, to acquire isolates of streptococcus pyogeny through direct purchase or collaborators of Dr. Osgood. Uh, second, perform gram staining to identify and establish typical morphology of streptococcus pyogeny. Third, streak streptococcus pyogeny isolates on 5% sheep blood agar. Four, perform isolations of genomic DNA from streptococcus pyogeny bacterial isolates. Fifth, standardize the DNA concentration and DNA quality of streptococcus pyogeny. Six, discriminations of red PCR strain powder and melted curve analysis of streptococcus pyogeny isolates using iric red PCR primer. So the results, so what do we expect from this result? So the result generated from this study will be used to identify and establish correlations between certain strains of streptococcus pyogenes and certain condition based on red PCR and melter curve profiles and certify and establish clinically significant and types of streptococcus pyogeny and their tendency to be associated with certain streptococcal condition. Acknowledgements. So I'd like to acknowledge um, and thanks the McNair program for accepting me in the McNair family of the scholar and making this research opportunity possible for me. I'd like to thank Dr. Oscar for guiding me through my first research experience and always encouraging me and inspiring me to believe that I am capable of great things regardless of my beginning. And I'm really extremely grateful, thankful to God for giving me my loving mother who supported me through my research. She was very excited to learn that the McNair program gave me my first research experience. Here's our reference and thank you.